Hello, everyone. So glad to be here today. Just chilling in the evening in Cedar Rapids. Hey, Ori, what are you doing? You want to jump up here? My little puppy's looking at me. Come here. Jump. 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 He's thinking about it. Do it. Do it. There he is. He's my little puppy. He's very fluffy. Mm -hmm. He's a good boy. Yo, Pomeranian, you go boy, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. He's happy I'm giving attention to him. He's like, what are you talking to that thing for? Mm -hmm. What are you talking to that thing for? Okay. I got his little bed beside me, so hopefully he'll lay down and chill out. Well, today, guys, we are back playing some Minecraft. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a longer stream today. Maybe we're not. We're going to see how, how I'm feeling once we get started. End of January already. Feels crazy. Um, but we've played Minecraft Hardcore for 22 days now. Believe it or not. All of my friends today are playing Dungeons & Dragons. I'm going to play tomorrow. My session is tomorrow. We, we do multiple sessions. We have an online kind of group. And so I thought I would stream a little Minecraft for you guys. You can see I worked on the interior of this, our storage area. Glorious. I have to sneeze. There we go. I muted myself that time. Um, I also added this singular, like... What is this, a warp vine? I don't even know what it's called. Um, but it'll allow us to get up and down from this thing in case we don't want to rocket our way up. Uh, you can always do some of these. Uh, it's a little ugly right now, but maybe we'll come up with some better solutions in the future. Um, today is an exciting day for me because I think I've mentioned it before. But I play uh, music, I play bluegrass primarily, and I have an album that is releasing tomorrow. And so today I tested the e-commerce shop, everything seems to be working on there. Uh, I also was testing the distribution through my distributor. Um, it's been a long time coming, a lot of, I did a lot of songwriting on it. I did a lot of the musicianship on it, obviously. And so it has been a long time coming but it has been uh, a really good project and I have thoroughly enjoyed it and I am super excited to get it out on like Spotify and all that stuff um, yeah so we'll just leave that one there if you know you know if you don't you don't if you see some stuff somewhere that looks like me it might be me um, anyway today I was going to do some type of farm, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet, um, what type of farm we're going to do yet, but we definitely need to start some type of new farm. I've been doing building and terraforming for the last few episodes, and I'm ready to switch it up a little bit. Uh, a bee farm is an option, although I don't really care too much about the bee stuff, to be honest. Slime Chunk, we need to work on that, and, and another hostile mob farm would also be a good project to get going, because the one we built there under the uh, mill is uh, not producing great results, nor is it loaded anymore since I've got my storage system up here. Um, so that's something to think about, and let's just start by spending a few minutes mining out in the Slime Chunk while I talk a little bit about a the next novel that I'm reading. I just started it, but I'd love to pose you guys with a question, something that I, I asked myself when I started reading this, is that this novel is written, I'm reading a novel that is written uh, from the point of view of a um, autistic, like, 16 year old. The author is a psychiatrist and an educator that worked with autistic individuals, but he himself is not uh, autistic. What do you guys think of that? I mean, is it, is it, you know, 
is it provocative and good for for authors to try to get in the headspace of autistic people or should autistic authors write for themselves um i think it's an interesting discussion personally it doesn't really bother me i i see the merits of writing in the point of view of someone even if you're not in that group but i think it definitely takes a lot of of careful tr treading um to do it in a tasteful way and uh you know it takes some some research and professionalism uh to do it in a great way so far what i've read seems like the guy is is, is qualified the author is qualified to you know cover sensitive this kind of what could be deemed sensitive subject matter um but yeah i just wondered what you guys think is it you know is it right for a a, um, a, a white author to write about the life experiences of a person of color in first person and especially if they're intense subjects um is it is it right for uh you know a, a person of color to try to pretend to be someone else or for a white person or a gay person you know it's like there could they why not why wouldn't they just write their own experiences i guess is the thing right like why do i need to read a book about uh you know, a first-person book about an autistic person went written by someone that's not autistic. Like, an autistic person is very capable of, uh, of writing these things. Um, you could say maybe someone that is more on the spectrum uh, of nonverbal, maybe they don't have the ability to, to express themselves in the ways that, that he is, you know, vicariously expressing himself through a character in a book. Which is what I kind of am imagining is, is the case with this novel. Um, but this book was also written 20 years ago. So I wonder sometimes, too, is it, uh, would this fly today? Is this something that people with the awareness and education on autism now, is this something that would uh, be popular today? I don't know. I'd love to know what you guys think. Anyhow's it. We are almost ready to start making the slime farm uh, kind of items. A wither farm would be nice to build too. Maybe we just do it, stick with the slime farm today. At least it's it's easy and I know how to do it. Don't have to think too much when I'm building one of these because I've done quite a few. I'm not looking to make the most crazy efficient thing ever. Um, like, I'm not going to mine it down to bedrock. We're just going to go to, like, Y0, basically. And then go from there. These holes over here. I could just leave them. But, yeah, we'll leave them for now. We'll cover them up later. Oops, excuse me. I think a lot of people kind of had, you know, talking about portrayal of characters. I think this is a little different, but, you know, the good doctor portrays a, it's a non-autistic person playing an autistic person. And some people, that rubs the wrong way. Um... I think there's a respectful and 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 correct way to, to kind of handle that. You know, you you need to be doing consulting. You need to be be serious with your subject matters and be ready that you might step on people's toes. I think some people are just going to be upset no matter what. It doesn't really matter what you do. Um, could that role be played by an autistic person? It's possible. But I think especially like the writing of a person's life of an autistic person could definitely be at least co-authored by an autistic person. It's a little different than, you know, uh, the, this like very fictional story that we see in television. I don't know. I, I was a little uh, caught off guard by that. A 
little caught off guard. But, that's okay. I'm gonna keep reading it, see how it turns out. I read five, four books. I read four novels last month, started five. I read like over 1200 pages of novels last month. Which feels good, because I uh, my goal this year is to read more. And I think I did most of my January goals, as far as whatever I wanted to do. Um, I think the only thing I didn't do was apply to enough jobs. I was kind of hoping I would hear back from some. And this is what gets me, right? What is today? Today is, uh, today is Wednesday. Okay, I had interviews with a company. I've been unemployed for a while now because I've been, um, I saved up some money and I was just like, I'm not happy with my job. I want to find something new, quit my job, been unemployed three months now, two, two and a half, two and a half months, and I was, uh, I got contacted pretty close, pretty immediately for a job opening, I was like, sweet, that's exciting, you know, reach out to them, I told them, got more info on the job, I had three or four interviews, I think four, by the time it was all said and done. And then they have completely ghosted me. I have sent multiple emails being like, hey, the interviews were great. Would love to know more. Would love to know more about the role. Would love to come into the office. Um, you know, I think sometimes I have a tendency to, uh, to interview so well, or at least, Basically, I, I, I talk myself into the position so much that uh, they think I'm overqualified and um, I probably am I like I probably have done more than a lot of, of what they need in these roles But at the same time, I'm just like you know, I, That doesn't really bother me as much as like I just need to be kind of working doing something and um, I think sometimes they're scared to hire someone that is like over way over qualified for a role because they don't want to get someone in there and then they just like are like oh i'm above this and they quit i get it i also cannot play dumb in a job interview like I, I can't do that and i can't try to dumb myself down or try to interview worse it's just not who i am as a person and it's it's not genuine it's not authentic and i i'm not going to do that I think that was the case with this job personally. I think I'm a little overqualified. I think they get a little uncomfortable by that. But regardless, I'm kind of upset at the whole ghosting thing. To me, that's it's just kind of unacceptable. For, for a corporation to not even reach out and say, hey, sorry we're taking so long, this is going on, like a 30 second email, I mean, come on. You're potentially hiring someone you should you should and if you if you do hire someone and you don't tell them then you should let the other people know it's it's just the base amount of courtesy any company should give to their employees and and it's just stuff like that that makes me really hate just corporations and stuff in general it's just you just people don't care about anything and makes everything sucky when nobody freaking cares about anything at a, at a job or if the people do care they're not doing a great job with communication or something like that just gets me pessimistic about businesses as a whole the the more jobs i work and the more places i'm treated like an expendable uh asset then the more i kind of lose hope in businesses ever doing the right thing i think there are good businesses and good bosses and good managers but let me tell you i think they're few and far between if you find one then let them know that you appreciate what they do so that they keep doing it and they don't get bitter and change because that's hard i've had bad manager after bad manager after bad manager
is not fun. We'll move all these items later back up to the storage building up there. Gotta make a furnace array at some point, too. But anyway, hopefully I'll hear back from a company. I've The last few days I've applied to a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. A lot of them I'm decently qualified for. Most of them I'm perfectly, if not overqualified, and a few of them I'm underqualified for. I do shoot for some kind of mid-senior level position sometimes, because you just never know. My last job was a mid-senior level position, and I, uh, I almost advanced too fast up the chain that now I'm too overqualified for other stuff, but what do you, t what, you know, what do you say to your past self? Don't take a, a job advancement, because it's not gonna, I don't know. You never know. It's it is it is a tough thing that not everyone in the in a workforce has to deal with. That's what I've kind of came to the conclusion to over the last year or two is that some people just get in a job without trying, and then everything just works out pretty dang well. The worst thing they gotta worry about is if they have coffee in the coffee machine in the morning. And you know, I'm glad that those people can have success, but I hope they understand that for other people uh, working is, uh, you know, even if you're doing something you want in a field that you relatively like, the atmospheres in which people make around you can often be so bad that it ruins the entire experience for you over and over and over again, even if you're at different jobs. I've only had, I have, I've had one job that I've liked in the last, um, In the last three years I mean like one job that I really didn't dread going to and I got laid off from that job from COVID so that's what I'm talking about I hope people realize that if you if you have a job you like and you're able to make money and it not feel like pulling teeth every single day consider yourself fortunate and appreciative A lot of us, it is not like that. I'm trying to get to that point. I honestly think I'll, un I would enjoy academia a lot, which is why I'm trying to move into that. I think that would treat me a lot, fare me a lot better than the corporate nine to five. That's kind of what I'm working towards now. Villager trading, hopefully repair my pick back up. I find the pumpkin and the melon is just the fastest for me. And then I can also do this, like blue terracotta. Am I ever gonna use that? Maybe. Yellow, sure. He hasn't unlocked yet. The XP is good. down do we have to go I think slime start spawning at like y33 
So we're almost at I'm gonna make a kind of not very fancy uh, slime farm. It's gonna we're gonna focus on function over form for this. I'm not really worried about it looking fancy. We are getting plenty of stone to make more of the islands if I want to. So I like my little uh, storage island. way to get some coal. We definitely need that. The fortune pick I'd have to go grab though, but we can fortune it later. level we're on now will be the first spawn platform. some of this stuff around like could place this down. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this up. We might have to do some caving in this area too to get the rates a little better, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. to be lit up. Not really, it's pretty good. So more coal is welcome. Here looks fine. There's more coal over there, but I'm gonna pass for the time being. Let's get the rest of this here. The last episode of the Percy Jackson series on Disney Plus came out yesterday, and now I don't know what to watch anymore. It was pretty good. I kind of wish they just did things a little bit slower. Maybe a little bit more to the book. But for the most part, it was... It's pretty good. I think it was pretty well received, so they'll... 
probably get another season. get some glowstone because you're gonna need some lighting I collected a little glowstone off camera yesterday let's get some stuff to start smelting too uh, where'd I put my gearbox again I'm always leaving that somewhere I think it's over here in the villager trading let's run around and check Fortune this stuff up. I have not thought about what advancement we want to do today either. We are getting to the more difficult ones. Or at least the ones I'm less familiar with. We need to respawn the dragon at some point. I think when we do that, we can get like actually four or five advancements that we kind of missed. The dragon breath, the look through a telescope, respawning the dragon. We got to get on top of the nether soon too. That's not an advancement. It's something we I need to do. We'll make my nether traffic a little bit safer. Okay. Unfortunately, all this stuff. Like I said, another hostile mob farm would be good, and I'm probably going to put it inside of a giant island. It'll probably be at least twice as large as the island we just did for the little building there. I might put it, like, over this part. I kind of want to surround the my homestead here with uh, islands. I think that'll look cool. I was posed with uh, a query. I was watching... Oh, I'm gonna cringe saying this. I was watching Young Sheldon. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's that bad of a show, honestly. And one of the characters lost his job because he was a physicist and he stated that on television that there was a chance that a super collider they were building in the 90s could create a black hole destroy the earth in the majority of our solar system solar system right um now he's not wrong it's just that the odds are like one in a trillion it still is feels weird to me though to even take one in a trillion considering that i mean i guess there's like way worse odds that could destroy humanity but it's like you're going to take one in a trillion to destroy the entirety of our universe? I guess one in a trillion is like... The odds are just so infinitesimally small that it's not even worth really mentioning, right? But in my head, I was like... That still is like... 
I know it's silly to be like, there's still a chance, but like, there is still a chance of, uh, of just to total destruction and annihilation. Uh, so I guess you don't focus on, you don't focus on that part. You don't focus on that, that chance. And I guess you focus on the information. I guess there's way higher chance that we, like, nuke the Earth. Like, he as humans, just fighting and just destroy the Earth, right? Like, that has a way higher chance than, than a, uh, than a one in a trillion, right? So we probably just shouldn't really worry that much about uh, the one in a trillions. And we should focus on the like one in one hundreds, which are like, well, I don't know. I can't think of an example of one, but yeah, that's what we should probably be worrying about, right? <laughs> I don't know. Do you still, in a pursuit of knowledge, do you still do that? Even though you could potentially, in a one in a trillion chance, just, you know, destroy the universe? Would you, would you like, if you had a child, would you, uh, or like, I have my dog, right? For on a one in a trillion chance. I guess there's more of a chance that he's just could die at any moment than one in a trillion, right? There is just a, it, like an explicit odd that something unimaginable happens at any point. And they probably are greater than one in a trillion odds. Like there's a chance that a, a a rock from a car hits me, and they're pro and it probably is is greater than one in a in a trillion chance, right? It's an interesting thought experiment. It made me think, though. It's like, what is not worth a one in a trillion? If you could tell me I would die or I could own like or I could have like a million dollars, would I take a one in a trillion chance? Like, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's like one in a trillion chance when you put it into a, 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 a different uh, different like form, you know, it's like silly to even think about it, but. Something. Hesit I hesitated when I thought of like how destructive uh, a collapse of the universe would be. Wait, is that not the center? I really suck at this. Okay, it is. on this so I can see where the center is. Yeah, that's the center. Okay. That's what we're going to be copying on the next layers. I'm annoyed that this looks different now. So yeah, where do you draw the line in the one in a trillion chance? When is it not worth it? One in a trillion chance or is just the, the infinitesimally small one in a trillion? Just it doesn't does it really not matter what you're doing? Because there's always a higher chance of something even different happening that's even crazier. I think that would be a good argument. Sound argument, I think. I don't know. I'm not a theoretical physicist. Just found that interesting. Maybe I am a theoretical physicist. Theoretically another timeline. I need somebody in chat to say something because I'm going crazy over here. I'm losing my 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 grip, my grasp on reality. collection system on this. How are we going to do a collection system? 
We'll just do water streams, probably. The faster you kill the slimes, the better. They they move slow and they can despawn relatively quickly. speed it up is I could put iron golems in the walls so that they can follow them and fall off. That would take some iron though. Don't have a lot of it. Let's see if I can fly and catch this. I thought this would be a good way to save, just in case my elytras are low or something. We have a way to get back up here. Like so. Oh, looky here! <laughs> Farm's already producing. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. I don't know if it even matters if I collect this much cobble and stuff anymore. Though there was a, a, a part on my last server when I ran out of cobblestone. Because I wasn't keeping it. And I went to craft, like... 10 stacks of, of observers for a giant project and I didn't have them. So I just make a habit of collecting it. It only takes a second to do. Even though it may never make a difference, uh, I still do it. So what if it does? One in a trillion chance that it does. So we're building the layers three apart. The reason that is is the slimes can spawn and then be able to jump. And they're going to jump off the edges. We're making the edges three wide. You can see that there. We're, we're going to do some layers basically down to deep slate. And then we'll just kind of funnel in the uh, them to a water stream. You can technically go all the way down to Y, like negative 55 or something. But I'm not going to bother because... Well, if we need that much slime, then I'll start worrying about it. Slime is uh, good for the slime blocks, obviously. Uh, sticky pistons, which if you're doing you know, mid to late game automation, you'll need a decent amount of, or you could, but we're going to worry about that when we get there. I will say, one thing I try, I'm trying not to do on this world is AFK, because... Every time I AFK, there's a one in a trillion chance that I die, something crazy happens, my game glitches out, a zombie spawns next to me impossibly. Uh, so I'm just trying to avoid AFKing in general, although it should technically, in most instances, just be safe. I don't like taking the chances. Once I get um, a regeneration beacon here, I'd feel a little bit better about it. So that way, if, at least if I take damage from something, between thorns and regeneration, most mobs shouldn't be able to kill me. The majority of the mobs in the game just won't, won't be able to kill you through regeneration and, uh, 
and thorns on your gear. So I'll feel a little safer AFKing then. Luckily for me, slime can spawn on any of these blocks, so I don't have to make the platforms consistent unless I want to for aesthetical reasons, which I'm too lazy. I've done this farm too many times to care about what it looks like. It will not be seen. Thorns, buddy. Oops. Good luck. Oops. Shoot, I need to turn my villager breeder back on too, because if I want to make a iron farm, I'm going to need villagers, and I don't have any right now. All the villagers are in the trading hall. That's something else I can do at some point. Okay, we'll just leave this here. done. About three more to go. Four more, maybe. That lines up. Yep. Alright. Can I make it? Nope. Let's drop off this stuff. Decent XP anyway. Repair my gear. Excellent. Look there. Restocking up on all the stuff we've been using. Alright. 
Let's get back to it. I wonder how much damage I would take if I just fell. Not good. Not good hardcore Minecraft thoughts. Dangerous Minecore. Minecore? Hard hardcore Minecraft thoughts. That's that's how you uh that's how I burn my one and only totem. Honestly, I could use more shulker boxes too, but I'm not looking forward to doing that. We can do that later, honestly. That'd be a good stream. That would be good stream content. Relatively boring, but or menial, maybe. Maybe is a better way to say it. Haste too makes this so satisfying. I almost don't want to talk. I just want to enjoy the the <laughs> sound, you know. Haste two is was a game changer. They added that. to move all this stuff up there eventually, but we can use choker boxes. I'm gonna have a lot of, uh, a lot of stacks of items to move anyway, so choker box is probably the way to go. Slide down here. That means another cave I gotta light up. I only have 10 torches. I'm gonna go get some more torches, because I got a feeling there's gonna be... Well, we'll just take a peek. Maybe it's a small cave. Although, I just have a feeling it's not gonna be a small cave. small cave. That was right. 
cave is not a small cave. No wonder my other uh, spawner spawn rates is so bad. Oh my gosh. Big cave. Okay. Let's go grab some torches and then we can deal with this. Sure do. Okay. The sound of that door is so weird. It's like crunchy sounding. Don't know how I feel about that. I don't have a rocket chest. Do I have a gunpowder chest? I don't even have a gunpowder chest. What the heck am I doing? How could I forget gunpowder? Might need more than this. That should be fine. Okay. Let's go light up cave. I am so sorry. I could not, uh, mute myself that time. Hey, sometimes you just gotta sneeze, you know? Ow. That actually hurt my body a little. Ugh. Not my joke, or my accent, or whatever the heck that was. That was just me being st stupid. Uh, okay. Let's... And big cave. Okay. Is it worth collecting items I see here? Like redstone. Is redstone worth collecting? I mean, in the long run, probably. Right now? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I've been in this cave before. It's easy to get, I'll get it. I can villager trade for redstone later, so I usually don't stress about it too much. Okay, let's see. No! fire resist potion on me right now. I should be fine. You see how much fire resistance I have? I'm fine. Ow. I could almost literally swim in lava right now. Oops. It's gonna destroy my torches, isn't it? Gosh. I'm so stupid. Nothing to do with it. No, I'm nothing to do with it. Stay over there, Damon. Okay. All right. Hopefully, we finished half the game at least. Even though this opens up quite a bit. Please just don't be giant cave. Just be 
be an average size cave. There's a size joke there somewhere, but I'm just gonna shut up. Still in beacon range, so we're still close to the slime chunk, which means I still gotta keep lighting stuff up. Hopefully that doesn't destroy too many of my torches. Okay. I think we're near the surface. Eh, we're not too far from the surface. Let's work our way backwards. Out of uh, we're out of the beacon range now. So we dallied a little far from the slime chunk. Zombie. Sounds pretty close. forward and to the right. I don't hear the zombie now. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm just moving further away. We're just gonna forget about it. It sounds so close though! Maybe it's down. I 
sounds like it's here. There it is. Hey, buddy. Did you, did you lead me to another cave? Not just a piece of one. Well, I've been here before. Beacon range again. Back in it. Sounds like I'm standing right on top of him. is right on top of me. Other way around, buddy. I'm doing this because it's gonna help the spawn rates the more spawnable blocks we can get rid of. I was gonna say it sounds like a mob. Okay. And honestly, the iron... Ain't half bad if you ask me. Hey, buddy. Oh, we're out of beacon range again. out of beacon range. I'm not going to do this much longer. This is really boring. Even for me. This way. Oh, I can't go up anymore, can I? Alright, I'm just gonna mine out. Oh, okay. Alright, let's see. Rainfalls. I must mean I'm right beside the slime chunk if I can hear the rain falling. Okay. Well, there you go. I don't know if I'm going to get used to the sound of that door. It's pretty weird. Mm, let's put 
puts the rocks away. Got a decent amount of redstone. To what we were doing. That was a good like 30 minute distraction that I would prefer not to happen. I'm so tired of like cleaning up after uh, the caves in this area. Now that the worlds are so deep it just takes so long. It just feels pointless. I mean I know it like is gonna make a difference but it feels stupid. Until it comes to me. down here now. Oof, this thing's already producing. Why are we at? 17. So it's like four more layers? Three more layers? Three more layers, maybe? i leave some space for a uh, killing chamber area. That they're just going to fall into a water, a water hole, and then we'll use uh, magma, magma blocks, probably. Or we could use iron golems. Just an easy way, whatever's the easiest way to move, uh, move items around. Oh, campfires. Campfires work too. Alright. We're gonna switch it up. I'm done doing this. Tired of it. It's boring. We 
we'll need the slime at some point, but for now, we're going to switch it up and do something different. So let's put our items away. more shulker boxes. I want to take on the Ender Dragon again. It's daring, I know. I know it's crazy. I have a piece of amethyst, I think. I lost my, uh, what's it called? Telescope? Kaleidoscope? repair my gear too before we we do this okay anyway we'll make a spyglass that's what they're calling it these days got a spyglass we need to make an item that i'm not super sure how to make we're gonna make end crystals okay it's glass and eye of ender and gas tier i've never made these <laughs> believe it or not so this is a new experience for me okay I have some Eye of Enders here somewhere. Definitely have glass. Yeah, we got plenty of glass. And I think I even have gas tears here somewhere. This is gonna be the tricky part. Where did I store this stuff? what I get for moving all my items around, right? Not in there, not in there. Hmm. Where would I have put it? Definitely had them. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. Hold on. Bear with me. Hold on. Let me cook. Let me cook. No, 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 no. I know, I know, I know, I know, no, 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 I know, no, no. It's there in here. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know how many we need. I think we need four. I think we need four. I'm gonna take a slow falling potion too. A regen potion. And then Eyes of Ender? I know I had. I don't want to have to make an Enderman farm, man. Where are my Eyes of Ender? Okay, we're just going to take some Blaze Powder and go to the end and do it that way. What else are we going to need? We're going to need bottles because I'm going to try to get the Dragon Mint. We're doing our advancement for the day. We're doing the end, so we're going to get respawn the ender dragon we're gonna get you need a mint and i think i'm gonna try to get the levitate up 50 blocks from attacks of a shulker i don't know if i have the patience to do that today honestly don't think i do but maybe maybe i'll get there and i'll change my mind before we do that let's go repair our gear maybe it's in my backpack backpack Where's the shot? Okay. Let's go repair our gear. I don't know where I put my eyes of enders. I remember, I thought I moved them. Maybe I did leave them down here. 
sorry if this is dizzying. If it is, just look away. either. Well, dang it. That's okay. We're gonna need a bow and arrow, and we're gonna need to repair our gear. So let's just do that. We'll do the classic pumpkin melon trades again. If you hear a zombie down here, I do have a zombie to make the trades cheaper. <laughs> that is what you are hearing. Okay, hopefully we don't have to use it right now. That pick is fully repaired. We'll do some trades over here. So I can do quartz trades now too, which is like pretty good too. What did you unlock? Ooh, a light blue terracotta and a blue terracotta. Both very nice blocks. Just like that, we are fully repaired. And fully prepared. To go to the end. Let's drop off some items. Put our fortune away. Gearbox away. You know, I'm gonna need a... I'm gonna need a crafting table when I go through the end. So let me. Okay. Well, let's see if I can figure out how to do this. It's been a been a minute. I watched a video on it. Maybe four years ago. <laughs> I think I can figure out how to respawn the Ender Dragon and we can uh, get this going. The toughest part is that my sword has fire aspect on it, which means actually killing Endermen and getting the Ender Pearls is a little tricky because every time they take damage, they're gonna look to teleport. Every time they take fire, take damage, and then if they tele if they teleport and die, then their Ender Pearl goes far away, and I'm never gonna get it. Yeah, just one of those things, you know. You guys know how it is, you know. We'll go down here to the stronghold portal. Hm. All right, I think we got everything we need. First thing first, we're gonna have to get some ender pearls. I'll go under my ender pearl hut. Get some ender pearls. Stare at these guys. They get angry. They'll run to me. They can't hit me as long as I'm standing under here. That's loud. See what I'm saying about them dying far away from me? They could technically teleport like really, really, really far away and die. Luckily, most of them are pretty close here. Okay. And we'll... I think we need to make four. Let's make four of these. And if I remember correctly, let me get ready for this just in case it works. <laughs> I 
Should be fine. Oh, I didn't bring glass bottles. Almost did a boo boo. Okay. Go to there, angry. Okay. I think we place them here. Is that right? Oh, see, it's respawning all the little crystals. That seems right. Hmm. Oh! Okay. We get to do it again. be able to collect this. There we go, another achievement gotten. Blocks to climb on. Da -da, I'm a stupid. Oh, wait! Okay. I can fly now! Got another achievement. One more. This one's gonna be tougher. that again. Why is that not working? Oh, okay. I, I'm just hitting iron bars. Okay. made a crossbow or something and made this interesting. <laughs> Why is this so hard? No 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 no
That's what I get for trying to be silly. I stink at this, holy <laughs> close. Should be able to get it here a few more shots. I'm really bad at this. I did way better the first time. My aim has gotten soft. Fun to hit it in the air though. Did it. <laughs> Let's go. And it drops a dragon head and the egg and the elytra. I have a data pack for data pack that does that. Just, it's a little more server friendly. I know I'm not on a server, but it's a not like it matters anymore anyway. We can get enough XP to repair all of our gear. Love it. Love it, live it, love it. Love it. Live it, live it, love it, live it, live it, love it, love it, love it. We got our dragon breath. And there you go. Another achievement down the hole. Down the hatch. Done and dusted. Didn't even need to use our potions. Almost died, but that's okay. Happens to the best of them. Well, guys, I'm going to end it there. Productive stream. We got a ton of advancements done. We're almost done with the end advancements, which is exciting. Um, got a lot of work on the slime chunk done. I might do a little terraforming off camera and a little bit of work on the slime farm just because it's not exciting. Um... But hopefully next time I want to do another farm. Not 100% sure what it's going to be yet. Um, but if I do play, of course, I'm going to record and I'll re-upload and all that good stuff. So you guys won't miss anything too crazy. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next stream here at twitch.tv slash jblader. Catch you later. <laughs>